لما ان شالون بينينو ترى علي ابو طور اني ابو طور ملخه لا ما حيين بشلفه ببشلو هي اللي مس حكيم يش قريم يش هكول افخذ له مفريع لا ما شلو لا ما انا توفيم لا ما لو كم عمو سلفه خلص خلص لا 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 انا لو مش بيت صدخه زلوف انا لو مش بيت زلوف زلوف لا لا سليخه انا لو شبت ضربه بالبريار زي The unrest in Sawan is obvious to all. The almost completely Arab neighborhood of East Jerusalem has come up in news headlines numerous times over the past few weeks because of violence and unexecuted evacuation orders against both Jewish and Arab housing. Knesset members Danny Danone and Oli Levy came to the neighborhood to find out how the strife has affected the children. It is not pleasant to start your day entering an armored vehicle, going to school, and coming back at one o'clock and you stay in your house without the possibility to go out. The two MKs, who are members of the Committee on the Rights of the Child, took a tour of the neighborhood and held a hearing in the Jewish residence, Beit Jonathan. Halfway through the tour, the two Knesset members found themselves also consulting with Arab residents about a shortage of kindergartens and parks. כמה גנים יש פה באמת לילדים שלך? אנחנו מדברים על גנים מגילאי שלוש. יכול להיות, בכל סילואן אין מקסימום ארבע גנים, לעשרות אלפי אנשים שגרים. ארבע גנים? Tensions have risen in the neighborhood since the Jerusalem municipality announced a plan to demolish 22 Arab houses in Silwan to make room for an archaeological park. Additionally, the group Atarat Kohanim, as well as right-wing MK Uri Ariel, have threatened to forcefully evacuate Arab residents currently living in a historic Yemenite synagogue. The possible evacuations of Arab homes have provided fuel for large-scale rioting, which took place over the past few weeks. In the middle of the MK's tour, a representative of the Atarat Kohanim group presented their claim to one of the residents of the disputed synagogue. By the end of the tour, the two Knesset members made promises to both Jewish and Arab Sawan residents about working to improve the quality of life for children in the neighborhood. We need to do more. We as the government, we need to provide them proper education. We need to provide them proper security manners. That's what we will do because we have a right for Jews to live everywhere in Jerusalem. We also met some Arab residents in the neighborhood and we will take care of the need of the Arab children as well. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.